Hello, and welcome to the Dave Gage Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Roy, joined by Stevenson head baseball coach Dave Gage. Coach, uh, we're about eight games in. Um, you know, there's a quite feel like it outside the spring. Uh, the spring is here, and uh, just talk about um, kind of a little bit of the success that you've had thus far. Sure, we'll start from the beginning. Uh, from the beginning of the year, we had a weather change to start and uh, ended up instead of going to Fayetteville, went to St. Mary's and, and played a doubleheader there. First game was really competitive. They're a you know they're a pretty good team. Uh, pitched it okay and uh, made great adjustments in the second game. I think that showed what we were about and uh, what kind of group we have is to come back in that second game and play really well and get a, get a win, get a split that day. Um, the next week I went down to Gallaudet and uh, played a really tough Marymount team and a, and a good Gallaudet team. Uh, Marymount was a was a quality opponent. They've split with two other conference opponents, so I thought that was a big win um, for us. And then, uh, you know, this past weekend with MCLA and Immaculata, a couple of tough games. And I think any time you can sweep a weekend, you know, beat the yeah. same team three times is a really difficult task, and, and our guys did a great job. Yeah. Yeah, certainly any time you go into a three-game series, your goal is – I mean, your goal is obviously to win all three, mm -hmm. but if you can win two out of three, you can see that pretty good, especially when you get into conference play. But, um, you yeah, know, you guys had some, you know, some obstacles with the weather and had to fight, um, you know, Friday and Saturday and even Sunday a little bit to get the field ready. But uh, they were up to the task and they were awarded a couple of victories. I'm so proud of this group of how hard they work and in, in not only on the baseball field. I think you've seen some success with that this yeah. year uh, so far. Um, but also, you know, getting the field ready this weekend is something that a lot of college athletes don't have to do. And I think it's something that our, our athletes will look back on 10 years from now and laugh about, you know, when they come back, hopefully, uh, for that reunion. And, um, you know, so that, that was exciting. But overall, our kids played great. We pitched it tremendously well. Everything that I wanted out of our program um, was in full display this weekend, you know, holding teams to, to a few runs. Yeah. That's, I think, one of the big differences maybe from, like, last year, your first year, is the pitching and defense has certainly been, you know, much improved. Certainly, um, you know, James Rusinski kind of knew coming in what he was able to do, but uh, Tyler Graham's really stepped up and had some, several big performances for you already. Yeah, James is electric. I mean, that fastball is electric, and his off-speed is really good. I think, you know, he's he's averaging 15 or 16 strikeouts per nine right now, yeah. which is, is very, very impressive. Uh, but then Joe Thompson has done a great job the first couple outings, uh, you know, senior transfer for us. And then Tyler has pitched with so much confidence. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we got good. We have a good bullpen, too, and we haven't had to use them, which is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, but excited to know that, that we have some good arms down there if, uh, if we need to get to them. And uh, defensively, we've done a great job. We held uh, Saturday or Sunday the first game. We only gave up one free 90, which yeah. if you're only giving up one free base is uh, – you know, that's, that's impressive at any level. Yeah, absolutely. Then offensively, like there hasn't been, I feel like you're very a, a very balanced team. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have that one guy that, oh, we need this guy to get a hit. Mm -hmm. You know, one through nine, the lineup's pretty strong. It is, and, and it's exciting because I can put anybody anywhere. And, uh, you know, Jordan Moore has hit third, and Tommy Holcomb has hit third, and Zach DeLong, I think, has hit third. I've had a couple guys hit third and, yeah. you know, or fourth, and, and we can change those guys up. Um, you know, our top of the lineup is always going to set the table. They did a great job last year. They're doing a good job this year. Uh, but but it's a it's a fun lineup to watch because anybody can get that big hit. You're not yeah. you don't get to a certain spot in the lineup and, and worry of, of that thing. Right? Yeah. Worry who's going to move that guy over? Who's going to get that big hit? Of course. Uh, coming up here, I've got some scheduled home games. Obviously, it's the weather's already playing a little bit with the schedule this week. But um, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, got some home games coming up. And, kind of how you build momentum as you work towards, you know, next weekend conference play is going to be here. That's why we have what we have coming up. So we have, uh, you know, Gettysburg on, on Thursday, a pretty well-coached team and, and always going to give us a, a tough run, Centennial Conference team. And same thing with McDaniel. Um, you know, they're going to they're gonna challenge us. Yeah. But then, you know, it gives us a chance to get ready for Hood because Cabrini's really good. Yeah. So I'm excited about this weekend, four games. We'll figure out who our three conference guys are. This weekend, and uh, you know, and, and make a run towards this thing as we get going. All right. Well, coach, uh, we wish you the best of luck this weekend going forward, and uh, we'll chat again soon. Thanks, Greg. All right, for Dave Gage, this is Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Gage Show.